Of Oregon Life. Thanks for right? watching this episode, episode of, of Oregon, Oregon Life. Life. Hello, I'm Frank Caruso, producer of Oregon Life, and welcome to a brand new episode. We're at the historic Pump House today, and we'll be talking to some artists as they come up, talk about their artwork. We'll show you some of their artwork. But coming in September, September 16th and 17th is, and I'm going to refer to one of the artists over here in the room. Karen, when is the... Uh, the Art Tour. And what, what is the name of the Art Tour? 14 South Regional Art Tour. 14 South Regional Art Tour. But below is all the information. So enjoy this episode of Oregon Life. And thank you, Karen. You're welcome. Hello, I'm Karen Callahan. Um, member of 14 South Artists. I'm going to be participating in the, the upcoming tour. Uh, I do needle felting and uh, beadwork will be the mediums that I'm presenting uh, at the location. Needle felting is a new medium for me. I had been doing the beadwork for quite a while and enjoyed that a great deal. And I call it beadwork rather than just jewelry because it includes more than that. I do make jewelry. Uh, but I also make uh, beaded pens and bottle toppers, wine bottle toppers. So those are fun and those will be available. But my new love is needle felting. I started about uh, three years ago. I, it's a fiber art uh, that I didn't intend to like because I don't like sewing. But I fell in love with it the first time I tried it. Uh, and I've been doing it since then. Um, do 3D sculptures and wall hangings and framed pieces as well. Uh, and needle felting is quite um, interesting um, in, because all, you, you're just working with loose wool fiber and you repeatedly jab it with sharp needles until it compresses on itself. Uh, wool fiber is scaly. And when you compress it or agitate it, and you can agitate it with water and heat, I use needles, but when you agitate it, it clings to itself like Velcro and allows you to create contours. And uh, it, it's quite fascinating. There's no thread, there doesn't need to be any thread or glue or any other bonding agent in some of these pieces, which is, is quite surprising. You can add things like, you know, a wire for, to add structure, or a bead for decoration, but you don't need it. it. It is a standalone piece just created by agitating the wool fibers and, and creating a sculpture that way. It's, it's fascinating and I love doing it. So thanks for tuning in and, and learning about our artists and our group and our upcoming tour um, that's gonna be in September. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so please come out, bring your family and friends. You'll, you'll meet a lot of artists and see a lot of different mediums and uh, be able to admire and purchase and, uh, and have a good time. So thanks so much. Hi, my name is Ann Kleckner and I'm a fused glass artist. Um, I've been a member of 14 South Artists since its very beginnings. I melt glass in my kiln. That's what fused glass is. Um, and I start with just sheets of glass or crushed up glass and I layer it and um, melt it together in a kiln. And then um, I also um, shape it using ceramic molds so that I can shape it into bowls or, or um, uh, you know, plates or uh, sometimes just art pieces. I'm mostly self-taught. I have been doing glass fusing since probably the late 80s and um, so mostly I have taught myself just by reading about it and 
Um, eventually, I started taking classes to learn the, you know, the way it's supposed to be done, as opposed to how I've um, how I've figured out things on my own. Um, it has given me a style that's different than other glass fusers. I grew up in the country, and I live in the country now. Um, flowers and nature is an you know, important to me and shows up in my glass fusing um, frequently. Um, I love how light illuminates things. And so when I discovered glass fusing, I thought, this is wonderful. <laughs> you know, it just, um, when light shines through the glass, it just makes it sparkle. And anyway, that's um, what intrigues me a lot about glass. Hi, I'm Bonnie Valley. I'm a retired art teacher and um, since I retired I've been enjoying doing lots of art fairs and mingling with the public and sharing my art. Um, my focus is wheel thrown pottery, uh, functional. I like, I like the functional aspect of it that I do with a, sort of a bent toward um, whimsical funny things and I also do uh, torch fired enamel jewelry. I really love uh, meeting all kinds of different people and seeing all of everyone else's art and that's why I enjoy doing art fairs over selling things on the internet. I'm really happy this year to have been invited to join 14 South Artists and I'm looking forward to September when um, the art, their art fair is. Of Oregon Life. Thanks for right? watching this episode, episode of, of Oregon, Oregon Life. Life.